Hi, the Real School Division. My name is Tom Newton. I teach at Windsor Park Collegiate, and I'm here to talk to you today about climate change, about a real opportunity that we have to take action to do something for our Earth, la Terre, for our environment, l'environnement, for our Mother Earth. Uh, so first of all, I thought I'd give a little background. What is climate change? Uh, and I know mo lots of people know this, but uh, let's not assume that. So. What is climate change? Climate change is when the sun's radiation comes in through our atmosphere um, and it hits our earth and some of it is absorbed by the oceans, by the land, and a good deal of it is radiated back out towards outer space. Now what happens with, with uh, the greenhouse effect is that uh, carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases, uh, they get in the way of this uh, radiation and it is reflected back down to Earth and our globe warms. Now this is necessary, this is a good thing. And without this we don't have life on the planet. We don't have plants and we don't have us. Uh, the issue is, is that since the Industrial Revolution, since humans started to burn fossil fuels, we have uh, increased the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere and therefore we are going through an unnaturally fast warming period. Now this is having effects on our environment. Uh, it's having effects on that the air is warming up and so warmer air can actually hold more, more moisture. So the effect that this is having around the world is that it's creating large weather events in some places, massive torrential downpours which creating floods, um, but in other areas it's taking all the water away and creating droughts. Uh, it's allowing for longer periods of time in the Arctic uh, where the sea ice doesn't have as much time to form. So we've seen images of polar bears where they are emaciated and they are, they are suffering because of climate change. Uh, people are suffering as well. Uh, migrants are happening. Even in Syria, massive drought in Syria is leading to the instability in that region right now. So what can we do about this? What can we do about this major problem facing the world. You know, personally, I think we've taken a first step as Canada and then Canadian society to elect a government that has a Minister of the Environment and Climate Change that's going to represent us at the summit talks that are happening next week in Paris. Um, so what a better time to have this Riel talk, a sort of TED talk for the Riel School Division. Um, what can I do though, right? Let's bring it back to personal decisions. And why did I get involved with this to begin with, right? Why do I care about climate change? Because I saw an inconvenient truth in 2007, and I've known about climate change for a long time, but I haven't really done anything with my own personal actions. Uh, so why? Well, for me, it was this little girl. She came along, and now I have a reason to create a better world in the future. I want her to grow up in a, in a place where she doesn't have to deal with the problems that have been left behind by previous generations. Okay? So what can I personally do? And what have I started to personally do myself? Well, um, I started to research and I found out in Manitoba, because we are in Manitoba, these are the largest contributors of greenhouse gas emissions. Right here, here's the graph. So here we have 38% is from transportation. That's all cars, trucks, semi-trucks, uh, trains, airplanes, any form of transportation, and generally all of them burn fossil fuels which emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So that's a large piece of the pie, 38%, right? The other piece of the pie here is agriculture. And that's 31%, so almost as much as transportation is agriculture and I feel like this piece of the pie is quite often not really spoken about in mainstream media. We talk a lot about electric cars and changing our habits for transportation but as far as agriculture goes we don't talk about that as much. I want to talk about it. But first we're going to start with transportation. Okay? So transportation, how can we address that as individuals in the Louisville School Division. Well, what I would love to propose to you is that we have a division-wide day where every single one of us who drives a car to work or to school 
leaves our cars at home. That for that one day, we make plans, we organize, and we bike to school, we walk to school, we take public transit, we, in the very least, carpool and park and ride, or park and walk, so that when we arrive to school that day, we have empty parking lots. What a demonstration of Lurieldale School Division's resolve to combat their contributions to climate change. So here we are, the second piece of the pie. I would love to try to address agriculture. So how does agriculture add to climate change? Well, agriculture adds to climate change because while well, the tilling of the soil to, to grow plants, but we can't really change that, right? But what I feel we can change is that a good portion of that 31% of the greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture come from animals. And animals eat plants and then they produce methane. Methane is actually a gas that is 25 times more damaging than carbon dioxide because of its ability to trap heat. It's far more efficient at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. Where does methane come from when we're talking about animals? Well, it comes from animal farts. So, if we commit to one day out of the 200 days that we come to school, and more and more people are committing to one day a week, which would be amazing, right? If you commit to one day a week, wow, what an impact you're having on the world. Just check it out, some of the stats here, okay? That's pretty amazing. I'm not even asking for that though. I want one day of the school year where we, as a school division, commit to not eating meat. And if you go one step further, to not even ingesting animal products. Amazing. Now that's gonna take some serious organizing. We're gonna have to talk to our home ec teachers, our cafeterias, we're gonna have to talk to each other, and commit for that one day to limit the amount of meat that we're eating. If we combine these two actions in the Lurel School Division, we will have reduced our emissions for climate change by over 50%. Unreal. I can't imagine a stronger message to give to our community, to our city, to our province, our country, and our world to say, we are in solidarity with you. We know that climate change is real and we know that people like me and you are having an impact on the world that we live in. I know I can control what I personally do. You can control what you personally do. So join with me, Louisville School Division. Look for a date in spring 2016 and we can do this. A climate day of action. Thank you.